Emmett's Spare Room Machine Shop has a tool maker challenge for 2017 and this is what we're making for it. So if you recall from the intro video about the project, um, I was going to take a piece of aluminum and punch a hole in the end to accept a level and then uh, mill it into the appropriate shape to be a center finder. Um, the project's changed a little bit. I went to the local home center and I found this uh, cool um, level gadget and the coolest thing about it is I was able to just pop the levels out. I've decided since I don't have any aluminum of the appropriate size and once again I've waited until Saturday night to uh, start the project for a video that releases on Sunday morning, um, I'm going to use what I have. And what I have is this here and I think this is Delrin. It's a lot harder than, than UHMW. I think it's Delrin. Uh, this should do just fine though for my center finder. The first thing I need to do, just like in the intro video, is punch a hole in the end to accept this level. And I'll just do that on the drill press. So the diameter of the level is 3 eighths of an inch. And I think that is a good distance to make it away from the edge. And I'll just mark that and that's where I'll put my hole. Now we'll mill in the window where you see the spirit level and then we'll also mill in the flat that will actually rest on the tool bit to find the center. Okay, the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to just plunge halfway down into the hole with this two flute end mill and then rip my way down an inch and a half which will give me enough to see this entire level. Now I'll just take a swipe across there to give myself a flat surface to rest on the tool. We have our window and our flat spot that will rest on the tool. Now we need to cut a v-notch in the tail end and just to make it pretty we're going to put some angles on, on this tip. This project just hit a snag, and that is when the tilt table is tilted, the workpiece cannot get close enough to the mill to actually be cut. So I'm going to have to regroup and take another approach. To pretty this up the way it looks in the model, all I need to do is hit this front end with the belt sander and that will take care of that, no problem. Um, getting my wedge perfectly centered, that might be a little more of a problem. And there are a couple of ways I could do that. One way would be to just take it to the bandsaw, cut my notch, and clean it up with a wood chisel to make sure it's nice and square. And I think that's what I'll do. You guys can't see this, but I used my caliper to scribe a line halfway through and that same distance in. That means if I draw a line from that crosshair to the corner out there, it will be 45 degree angle. I'll double check that with my carpenter square. And it looks right. Okay, there it is. Now I just need to clean that up a little bit and then reshape the front of this. Okay, now I just need to pretty up the nose of it and I'll just do that on the belt sander. Oh. 
All that remains is to install the spirit level element into the center finder body and it's tight enough that I think friction will hold it in place just fine. And there we have it. A spirit level lathe tool bit center finder. And as a bonus, it only cost me about $2 to make. So that's my bid for Emma's Spare Room Machine Shop's 2017 tool making challenge. It's not much, it's pretty simple. I had a couple of wrong turns go along the way, but hey, it turned out, I'll use it, since I gave my last one to Harold over at the Amateur Redneck Workshop. Anyway, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.